So I realized yesterday was day 55. That's why I made it to the halfway point. I'm camping at it. It's, it's that little thing right there. Butt Mountain is in one mile. I'm gonna go summit that. This is a side trail though. There's Butt Mountain. This is Little Butt Mountain. I see the summit right there. There we go, summited Butt Mountain. I just saw my first mountain lion. It's right over here. That was pretty scary. Hopefully it goes away. Sorry I didn't film it. I was kind of freaked out and I was like clapping and stuff. Next time, I'll just film it instead. <laughs> that was the biggest cat I've seen in person. It was literally bigger than me. Do any of you have any mountain lion stories or encounters? If you do, let me know, I wanna hear them. I got my package, hitching back, made a little sign. Some guy stopped and was like, where are you headed? And I said, the PCT, and he said, oh, that's only a mile, and then sped off. Seriously? I think I've officially started the Sierra mountain range, but I won't be in the high Sierras for like another week or five days or something. Mom sent me some banana bread, so tonight's dinner is pleasantly different than ramen noodles. Thanks, Mom. Hi. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I've never really understood why cows are so scared of me. Maybe they think I'm going to turn them into a hamburger. track. There's a bunch of them. He walked the other way of me. There's a good one. The Sierras are coming. It's pretty windy up here. This is what I love about through hiking. Look at that, it's amazing. I'm excited for the rest of the Sierras. I guess I start the Sierras in two days. Look at this. I'm so glad that the mountains are ramping back up again. It means there's a lot more climbs and descents, but this is why I came out here.
to Sierra City, but somebody told me they had really good hamburgers, so I'm going to do the one mile road walk and grab one. I'm also short a meal on food, so it works out great. I have to apologize because in town I got a one pound burger and it was huge and I didn't even take a picture of it. Grr, no horse. There's a cell tower on that peak right there so I can watch YouTube while I hike. These clouds don't look too friendly. I have to go up on that ridge over there and up to like 8,400 feet. Here's the edge of the trees and it looks like the angriest of the clouds are moving away so I've got a small patch of blue to cross. Hopefully this is safe. Lightning's like one of the scariest things out here on the trail. Bears and mountain lions and stuff are a lot less likely to like get you than a lightning bolt. <laughs> Especially when you're walking on a ridge with no trees. Also, one of my friends posted online, she's in the Sierras and apparently it's snowing. So, uh, yeah. What's that furry stuff on your camera? <laughs> <laughs> This is the Peter Grubb ski hut and it was super nice to get out of the cold last night and have a fire in there. This um, valley right here is called Donner Pass and apparently some party in like the 1840s came here and they got stuck over the winter and some like half of them died and then they ate the dead people. 